All right, guys, Johnny B76 back at you with a brand new video, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Starting off 2023, this is the upgrade kit for the oversized Jim Bow Devastator set, and yeah, he's kind of bigger than the box at the moment. But this is not a this is not a small box. This is a very big box. This is basically made by Like Toys. You can see the little hologram there. I think this is the same company that are doing the the four foot or five foot uh, version of. I think it's Metroplex. They're doing like this massive uh, Metroplex uh, triple changer, like it's four feet high. Uh, I seen a couple of uh, videos on YouTube and stuff. I seen some pictures online of it as well, and the guy who created it, um, literally transforming it, but. Like Toys made a deal with uh, Jimbo, and they came up with this incredible upgrade kit, as you can see. Now, I'm not going to do how it's put together and all that kind of stuff, because <clears throat> you can see it already is put together. But it comes with uh, 11 pieces, so you got extra stability uh, platforms for the feet. You can kind of just make out here. Uh, the bots basically sit in to the plates to make him more stable. Uh, we come up here to which is something that reminds me of what Zeta Toys have done with their uh, Bruticus and their uh, what's the Autobot called the, the airplane Superion. They've done something quite similar there. And as you can see, there is this sort of like, you can focus, sort of like a rib cage sort of uh, fill out that sits on the outskirts of Long Haul, I think. And we have a brand new chest plate. This is all one piece. Uh, I'll put a uh, symbol right here. Uh, later and we also have a new head sculpt which is very very nice and the thing you got to do with this one is yeah the eyes light up there he comes with the visor um pretty bright actually not bad what you need to do is if you have the uh first jimbo upgrade kit with the with the first head all you got to do is remove the electronics from that and you're taking off this plate and the face plate the the, the visor will come off as well <coughs> the visor will come off as well so literally literally you're just taking out those electronics slapping them in and then making sure that the button lines up with the button on the electronics uh, also with the set comes the sort of uh, these forearm pieces to make the arms just a little bit longer as you can see here and yeah you can just see how big and ginormous he is now one thing that I noticed online with I think it was Ben's collectibles uh, he did something that was really cool I think because when he put his, he has the yellow kit, uh, you can check online YouTube there. Uh, he has the yellow version, the G2 colors. What he did was he removed long hauls, lower legs, and thigh area. Because the back of it was very back heavy. So, if you look here, I've done the same. I removed long hauls, lower body you can see right there, so he's basically, there are his legs there, if he's in normal robot mode, you can see um, everything like just would connect here. So what I've done is the exact same thing. And as you can see, looking here, now he is a little rocky. He will, you might think he will kind of like fall forward or fall over, but he's not bad, balancing wise, he's not bad at all. I just need to put him in like a pose um, to, uh, you know, 
to get him looking good because the one thing I don't like about certain bots is how clean the, the backs kind of clean up so to speak you know what I mean so what I did was this plate here is in two pieces right and it connects to this one now this mushroom peg is not going to fit in that hole right now because it's way too small so what you need to do it's in two pieces you'll see a separation line right there this won't move now because hooks back uh long sorry long hauls plate for the truck dump the, the, the dumpster piece is now connected to hooks um piece here so basically before you put everything together and you want to remove this there are three screws on this piece here 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 and here on the opposite side of it now i can't again i can't show it to you because everything's all connected up so you remove those three screws this piece separates and this piece separates as well so what you're doing is you're taking this piece from here and then you're just putting it back now you can have it with only the bottom piece showing and not the top piece but I think it looks cleaner um, putting the whole piece together now in regards to the arms uh, you can just see under here where I'm pointing there's a little hook this is part of the of this whole uh, what do you call it uh, this whole piece here so when it's connecting to the top two pieces this hook will just click into the to uh, long haul arms right there you can just see there and the same on the other side but what I did was I just remove uh, maneuvered his arms these are actually his hands so on the review the hands are just pressed up against this plate but if you turn them around and open them like this you get a he can move he can maneuver his hand underneath so his thumb is right there holding this piece and this piece and it looks a lot cleaner you can maneuver these little pieces right here but I think they just the less uh, kibble on the back the better and the good thing is as well with this uh, this crane piece is able to bend and then I just have this piece hanging here so so yeah um, let me just turn him around because he is quite heavy I'm just going to put him up against the, the, the tiles here now I'll put him in a nice little pose so I think basically that's it but uh, in, you know just for a size comparison here he is with Masterpiece Soundwave and basically Soundwave is coming up to he's literally in line with his knee joint right there so that's how big this guy is I'll just pan back a little bit and give you a proper look yeah That is a proper devastator right there. Is it to scale? I mean, maybe, you know? If it's not, it's pretty close because I think the MP10 and MP44 and all those, you know, the newer piece. I mean, if you have like the car bots, like say Prowl, they're pretty small bots. Um, but yeah, like they would look really cool in regards to scale size, but just getting a proper, I have his arms just out here and out here just to see how, um, I might push them back in just to kind of make them look a bit more, uh, proportionate, but yeah, I mean, I was so happy when I saw this kit revealed, I think it was on Show Z store i think i first saw it and i just thought it was for the the smaller if you look at those kind of feet plates again 
Uh, torso on the hips. The plastic is not as, say, strong as um, as the actual bots themselves. The plastic feels a little lighter, a little kind of more bendy in particular with the feet, but that doesn't matter because they're like literally locked in there right now. And this set, the joints on this thing are incredibly stiff. So he's not going to fall over anytime soon, no way. So yeah, so I just wanted to give you a quick uh, quick look and a quick size comparison um, to this set, the Level Up City Builder uh, from Like Toys, Jim Bao's upgrade kit for their oversized Devastator. So guys, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments actually if um, if you like this set and you're going to get it, you're going to pick it up yourselves. There is of course the yellow version for the G2 colors. But um, yeah, you gotta have the, for me, you gotta have the green one. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.